Hello Leos! So um, you might experience a little bit of residual energy for the last week of May coming into your June reading, okay? So that is usually why I like to do the reading on the very last day of May, just to prevent any of that from happening, but um, we'll see what is coming up for you. Okay, so let's see. So we have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups deals with um, a situation, you know, traditionally, it is a situation that you've invested a great deal of emotions into, and you are choosing to walk away to a better situation. And um, I do feel the next card will indicate whether or not you have something lined up for you. Okay, so a lot of you actually have a very good thing lined up. So um, for those of you who are involved in this as a romantic situation, you might be walking away from it and you have a new partner lined up for example if you are walking away from a previous work situation travel is indicated as well so you're possibly traveling to a new work environment and trying to reestablish yourself okay so um, the only problematic thing about this is um, if this is something that is that you chose to do that is outside of your power or outside of your control then um, with the Mercury in retrograde, which is going to run f until June 11th, if this is something that you chose to do, there might be a little bit of an obstacle in achieving the fruition that you want. If this was imposed from you by external, the external environment, I do feel that person that you left behind, that work that you've left behind, might want you to come back. Okay, so we'll see the rest and how that will play out. Okay, so um, there's a dip in confidence here. So a lot of you might have been left behind by the other party. So you are coming into this with a little bit of like a, a, a dip in your self-esteem, a dip in, you know, your sense of optimism. So travel is indicated. It, it also tells me that there is going to be a lot of success. Regardless of, uh, you know, that self-doubt that is creeping in, I do sense that... Um, You've thought about this carefully. You are aware that the new situation is going to provide a lot more longevity. It is going to be a lot more exciting for you. But because you are physically kind of like displaced, this is a card of like the refugee, you know, moving from their um, environment that they're used to, a familiar, you know, sense of like um, surrounding and into a very new situation. So you're going to feel like physically and emotionally kind of displaced but I feel that it has a lot of good potential okay so don't uh, be afraid of it so um, at the same time you know this king of swords for those of you who are dealing with an air sign I do feel this in person is very like curt very instrumental in getting projects started okay this is a very decisive energy so just know that um, whatever happened here Someone is calling you back in, okay? And it is very important for you to be judicious about, be discriminate about why they are trying to get you to come back to that prior situation. And really um, don't waver in your resolve, okay? You're actually in a good place and this dip in, in self-esteem is going to like cycle through that very like, you know, the, the, week, the first week and a half. So you're going to have to rein in your intellect and especially your rationality in order to figure out why you left in the first place and to not put yourself back in that situation, okay? So be very careful about that. For those of you who are dealing with an air, uh, I'm sorry, a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, I'm getting it might be like a Cancer person. Um, I feel that the Cancer person is very like rational, is very emotionally um they might come off as emotionally immature emotionally immature but uh, in terms of like material success in terms of like prestige in the outer world they are quite cutthroat about it okay so um it's kind of like i'm getting here that um even though it's a water sign that you're dealing with i do sense in general that um they mean well they have a very good heart you know, and they're there when you need them. However, the emotional depth might be lacking in this relationship, either from your end or from their end, okay? So if it's a work situation, if it's an in any type of an interpersonal relationship that you're dealing with, um, you're not really, like, operating on the same wavelength, okay? This is also your card here. 
And um, if you look at the astrological symbolism of um, Leo is ruled by the sun. So I do see here, this is your energy is being suppressed in this person's mist. Okay, so that's something to watch out for and figure out why that is. Is it because they are questioning your, um, the, the things you say, they are questioning, you know, your, the abilities for you to carry out your plans. If that's the case, I don't feel they are operating from a bad place. They are just very rational. Okay. If they are questioning whether or not you care about them in a romantic setting, if they are giving, basically, it's kind of like if they're, um, if they're jealous or if they're, if they're kind of like whiny or even like difficult to deal with on an emotional level in a, a romantic setting, I do feel at the same time they're not aware of it because the page energy is a very young person. It's somebody who might not be totally emotionally mature or they are lacking emotional depth. So you might have problems on the romantic front with this person. But I do feel that in general, you know, they have a good heart and they're operating from a good place. So if this is somebody that you're dealing with from the past, just be discerning about why they're coming back. So maybe a lot of you might be, you know, leaving behind a water sign and moving forward with an air sign, for example. In that case, it looks very good. It looks very, very good. But this air sign tends to ask a lot of questions. So, you know, be prepared for that, okay? It's not a bad energy. I feel like as a king energy, male or female, it's somebody who's very level-headed. So, um, you know, in, in general, I do feel that for um, for you, I, I sense in general that um, there is a little bit of a communication problem if you are dealing with an air sign, okay? Um, it's a different energy. And especially if you are dealing with like, um, so air signs are Aquarius, Geminis, and Libras. And um, we do have Mercury in retrograde until June 11th. So that is going to be affecting, you know, interpersonal communications. And there are definitely differences in the ways in which you both um, communicate. So that's something that's coming in and that's something to be aware of. The energy is going to dissipate, you know, towards the end of, um, towards the last week of June. So just, you know, take it with a grain of salt and just um, don't take things to heart because this person has a very curt demeanor. They don't mean any harm by it because they're in the upright position. But I do feel that it can hurt your ego, okay? So they'll, like, um, cut you down if your ideas don't really pan out, okay? And at the same time, I feel that you are in the reverse position here, so you might not be operating at your best. So take other people's advice into account as well when you make decisions. They actually might give you a very fresh new perspective that will help you streamline whatever it is that you're trying to implement in your life, okay? So the other option that, that is coming in is this is the card of illusions okay the seven of cups there are a lot of things opening up for you you have high hopes high expectations and everything is like going according to plan for you so what i do sense here is with the chariot in the upright position underneath it is this with the seven of um cups a lot of you might be wondering if you can what you should proceed with okay so it's kind of dangerous that you are surrounded by two cups energy because you are you're operating from a place of emotional um emotional like um you're using your emotions to make decisions which is not a bad thing i don't feel that it's a bad thing but this person is trying to um get you to see the long-term ramifications of your actions. So they are, they are providing a pretty good balance. So you're acting from pure emotions and they're giving you, you know, that, um, I guess like almost like an opposing energy, mainly to help you get through it in a way that is more conducive for long-term, for longevity and things like that, okay? So keep that in mind. We do have opposing elements here, water, air, okay, and then you're a fire sign. So there are a lot of just people giving inputs and things like that. Okay, so then we have the strength card. This is also your card. So I do feel a new, res a new sense of like um, progress is coming in 
This is interesting. I actually just did the reading for uh, cancer. So for those of you who are dealing with a cancer person, on any type of an interpersonal relationship, like even work, if you are funding an investment opportunity for a cancer, I do feel that this person has come a long way. So it's actually a good person for you to invest in. But please do it the end of this month when Mercury is completely out of its retrograde period. So in the cancer spread, you have the same person coming through. So I, I feel like it might be Cancer Leo. So you might be, you know, the, the, their new love interest. You might be the new investor for their projects. But either way, it looks very favorable. Just make sure you wait until the end of the month to do it. And, you know, the end of the month, too, is indicative of new beginnings for you both, okay? For you and this other person, if you are helping them finance something. for um, It could be for you on a new romantic front. A water sign and possibly an air sign are both coming in for you. And as well in your work environment, I do feel that, you know, this is the card of an ap the apprentice, okay? So you are learning a new craft. You are learning a new skills. You are also um, possibly in a supervisory role in which you are teaching others how to do something a little bit better. So like to learn, you're teaching a new craft to another person or you are um, trying to help them streamline their work processes, okay? So it, as a result, they are graduating from being a page to like being a knight okay it's almost like happening overnight and it's happening towards like the last two weeks of this, okay so it's kind of like calming that inner beast within you you might be really fascinated by this person and you might want to you know just go for it and you know think about the ramifications later i don't feel that they they have anything to hide that's the thing but um Try to do it the last week of the month when Mercury is completely out of its shadow period so that you at least have all the information you need, okay? And this person is coming in with a lot of sincerity. And I do feel in general they have a very, very good heart. He or she has a very good heart. So calm your inner beast, you know, just like play it, um, play it cool. Not to, don't play hard to get, but I would say play it cool, mainly because it is underneath the king of swords so there is a little bit of a kind of like um i wouldn't say it's it's a foreboding i i wouldn't call it that because that sounds a little bit too somber but it's kind of like be careful being careful i have a be careful type of energy here and um you don't have anything to fear but i do feel that you have to delay it until the absolute last uh, week of this month in order for you to move forward with this if you don't there are like work chariot which is going to I feel like it's going to trump this card mainly because it's coming out right on the heel of you know moving forward so I do feel in general that you're going to be okay so um, don't fret get through the first week and just know that the energy of the first week is going to end right here okay so it's going to end and you're moving to a better place, okay, Leo? So um, I hope you have a wonderful month. Um, if you would like a private reading, please send me an email at temperatestar at gmail.com. Let me know how this plays out for you. And if you like the reading as well, please like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful, tremendously successful month. And, um, you know, uh, the information you need will come in by the end of this month. So hang in there, okay? So have a good month. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week for the weekly reading.